Sorting chronologies and timelines are simple yet very effective structuring techniques that can prove invaluable to our analysis of a problem. Application of these techniques to even the simplest of problems will yield valuable insights and may even lead you directly to a solution. Sorting is a simple method to organize data. Chronologies and timelines list relevant events and their dates and construct a chronology. Sorting. What I do in grouping jigsaw puzzle pieces is the most basic structuring technique. For that reason, one would think we could give it short shrift here and move on to techniques less well known. Unfortunately, sorting is both underused and misused. Some of us never sort problems into their component parts. Others of us sort, but we do it incoherently or according to misleading assumptions about the nature and similarity of the parts. All of us tend to believe that only complex problems require sorting. The fact is, analysis of even the simplest problems benefits from simple sorting. For example, in preparing a grocery list, it facilitates shopping to group items on the list according to their location in the store, as one moves from aisle to aisle. Of course, as the complexity and ambiguity of a problem increase, sorting and the nature of the sorting become critical to effective analysis. Review the information on the slide. On a sheet of paper, sort the following information in whatever way you wish. You may pause the video to give yourself more time. There are numerous ways, all of them perfectly satisfactory, to sort this information. By sorting it, we are in a position to answer any of a wide range of questions about these people. What is their average age? How many are Catholic? Which persons were born in Pennsylvania? The principle involved is the same one I use to assemble jigsaw pieces, putting pieces together in groups. What could be simpler? What could be more helpful in analyzing a problem? Another highly useful but elementary technique for organizing data is a chronology, or what some call a timeline. We humans instinctively think chronologically. Read the italicized text on the slide. Did your mind register a silent but nonetheless perceptible protest when you discovered that the dates were out of chronological order? At the same time, did your mind try rearranging the statements to put them in chronological order? It's an irresistible compulsion. This compulsion is related to our instinct to view the world in terms of cause and effect relationships and is similar to how our mind prefers active to passive voice. Clearly, chronological order is not merely important to understanding, it can be indispensable. Presented visually, as on this slide, a chronology shows the timing and sequence of relevant events, calls our attention to key events and to significant gaps, and makes it easier to identify patterns and correlations among events. It allows us to understand and appreciate the context in which events occurred, are occurring, or will occur. We are in a far better position to interpret the significance of each event with respect to the problem. Sometimes, putting events in chronological order points to a solution. A timeline is simply a string of sequential dates. To see the story behind the problem, it can help merely to mark on a piece of paper the dates one first associates with the problem's history. Because people often balk at looking very far into the past, I stress the importance of beginning with the earliest date which seems at all significant. A special form of a timeline is called placement, which means arraying chronologically the events in public history with details in private life that may affect the mindset or viewpoint of a decision maker, whether the latter be a person or an organization, as depicted on this slide. From this history and details, we draw inferences about the decision maker's thinking, motives, prejudices, and so on. An example of placement is the one of former Secretary of State Dean Rusk from the previous slide. This slide shows some of the inferences we can make about him based on the earlier slide. Placement can provide significant value when attempting to better understand one's adversaries in order to gain insights into their decision-making. Let's apply what you've learned from these techniques to an intelligent scenario. I've supplied the Kosovo problem as a resource to this lecture. Sort the evidence from the Kosovo problem by int or type of intelligence source. You may pause the video to give yourself more time.
Does your sorting of the evidence from the Kosovo problem look similar to this? Congratulations on completing your first lesson on these two powerful analytic techniques. Sorting is a method to arrange and organize the data to make it more readily available and understandable to the analyst. Chronologies and timelines organize data and events to help the analyst better understand the timing or sequence of things. This has been a relatively short lesson, but an important one. Sorting, chronologies, and timelines are simple yet very effective structuring techniques that can provide invaluable insights to our analysis of a problem. Application of these techniques will help you gain insights into whatever problem you're working.